Okay, so this is Charlie Setterfield, and I prepared this video as part of um, my class in Revit architecture. And I need to get myself used to not saying Revit architecture because one of the things that happens in 2013 is that now it's just Revit. It's not Revit architecture, Revit MEP, and Revit structural. It's just good old Revit. So I'm sure you'll you'll catch me uh, saying Revit architecture quite a bit, but I'll do my best. So I want to walk you through the complete process as if you're one of my students and you haven't done any of this before. So on your computer at home, you want to uh, open up whatever internet uh, navigation device you have, like Internet Explorer, and uh, we're going to navigate to a page. I'm going to take you to the main Autodesk page. So it's Autodesk. Dot com. And this is their main page that has a little bit of everything on it. And, um, you know, all about their software and how to buy it and how to get trained on it and documentation and this and that and the other. What I'm really after is this uh, next to the last button here across the top where it says community. If you hover over that and then slide down to students and educators, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And that pops open a new window for me, and this is actually where I'm going to download my free software from. And this is the Autodesk Education Community. You can get here directly by typing in students.autodesk.com in the future if you want to do it that way. Uh, but I wanted to show you the basic way of getting there as well. I'm going to maximize this screen and go ahead and sign in. So I click in the upper right hand corner here, log in. If you're a new user, you're going to have to create a um, user account for this. This account has nothing to do with your school account. We don't administer this or anything like that. This is all about um, students being able to access free software directly from Autodesk, and Sinclair or me as an instructor are not involved. So anyway, so once you've got your um, new sign-in uh, established and all that kind of good stuff, just go ahead and sign in and password and click sign in it's gonna chug along for a minute and then hopefully all is good slowly hmm. slowly you can work on your grocery list now if you need to ah there we go okay so now um, on mine, because it knows that I've already got some software downloaded to this account, it's got new versions all set up for me. Hey, why don't you download this? Uh, it's just like on uh, Amazon, when you buy one thing, it says, well, people who bought that also bought this. Um, but being your first time in, you're probably not going to get that kind of a pop-up. So to get your free software download, you're going to want to go to the second button up here, which says free software, and go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that we can see this. And it's loading the free software that I have available. Now, all of these, let me close that one up. Um, all of these are Autodesk products that I can download and use for a three year period without charge. Uh, they're student versions, but the nice thing about Autodesk software is the student version is the same as the professional commercial version. The only difference is that when you print, it has a banner on it that says this project was created using student software. So um, that hopefully keeps people from using this for professional work and uh, kind of cheating the system a little bit. So you are welcome to download as much of this stuff as you want to and play around with it. Um, but what we're after is um, Autodesk Revit. And remember, you know, we no longer have Architecture Structure MEP. So I'm going to slide down into the other products area down here. And there's just Revit, um, I'm sorry, just Autodesk Revit. Click the plus beside that. I'm going to scroll that down just a little bit more. So um, Autodesk Revit 2013. And uh, the first thing that I want you to do is click on System Requirements. So click that button with me. And that is um, a window where you can go and look at the entry level configuration, the value configuration, and the performance configuration. So to make this work at home, you're going to want at least that minimum level configuration. I'm going to go ahead and click on that 
and it really just scrolls me down on the page just a little bit. Um, it takes me through operating system, uh, CPU type, and memory, video display, video adapter, hard disk space, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, so you're going to want to make sure that you've got that at least at home. And then the value one, that's even better. And then the performance, obviously that one uh, will make it just hum right along. Don't bother with Revit Server or Revit for Citrix. Uh, those are things that wouldn't be applicable at home. So um, once you've had a chance to do that, I'm going to go back to the previous page. There we go. And oops, I closed one too many things. There we go. So I'm in Autodesk Revit. I've checked out my system requirements. Uh, later on, you're welcome to look at this stuff, uh, view the people from your school using this software, so you can stalk them. Um, view designs created with this software, so you can see what we're shooting for, that kind of stuff. Uh, go ahead and choose your version, and this one time it's really simple because there's only one, it's 2013. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Choose your language. I think I'll stick with English. Choose your operating system, and um, this is the only one I've got available. It's a Windows 32 64-bit. And then click the Next button. And we're going to put the video on pause here. Once it starts its download, uh, we're going to go ahead and put the video on pause so that you don't have to watch everything. There are my serial number and product key. And I'm going to go ahead and click Download. Uh, so my first... Um, Oh, this is a security warning. This is coming from the uh, Norton security um, program that I have on my computer, so I'm going to have to say run to that one. And then it's going to do a download here, and we're going to take a little pause while it does its download. So I have downloaded, and now I need to accept this security warning. So I need to hit the run button here, even though it says it's an unrecognized publisher. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm into the accept mode for the licensing. I'm going to go ahead and in, hit install. And this is going to take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and put us on pause again on the video. And I'll check back in. Okay, so now we have the program downloaded, and we need to hit install on this computer. And there are licensing requirements, and you are welcome to read all of that, which I'll say I just did, and hit I accept and hit next. Okay, so I have entered my serial number and my product key. Those were on the website from Autodesk, and I click the next button. And now I can choose my uh, installation configuration here. So I want Autodesk Revit 2013. I want that one. And design review, eh, I don't think so. And material library, absolutely, I want the material library. That's very important. You'll learn that as we go through um, various lessons <clears throat> in Revit. So I'm going to go ahead and click the install button over here. And we will take a pause in the action here while it does its uh, installation process. Okay, so once it's finished its installation process, I get this screen that says you have successfully installed the selected products, and I can click on the finish button down here in the lower right hand corner. So if you get stuck along the way, there is this option back on the Autodesk Students and Educators website. Uh, when you check in with your software, there's a button beside it. If you have not activated it already, it says how to activate software and you click on the button and it will take you to a page where it walks you through a series of steps that you can do to make sure that you're getting it activated correctly. Uh, if you follow the steps as it's going through the process on screen, you won't need any of this, but uh, if things go wrong, this is where you can find the answers.